Now, the world is a pretty big place, and Australia is all the way on the other side. Mm -hmm. So how is it that Paul looked at a map of the world and decided on Paraguay? Yeah, so um, a little bit of my background, I've been a, I've been a crypto investor um, for a right. long time. And um, the interesting thing, if you want to leave Australia, similar to the US, you have to do basically something of an exit tax, where you have to pay out all the capital gains that you owe to the government, uh, basically before you leave, uh, so that you can sort of break ties with them. Now, I, um, in early 2021, the crypto market had just crashed. And um, again, uh, listening to advice online was like, okay, if you want to leave, now's not a bad time, right? Because the, as you do sort of cash out, as you leave, the amount of capital gains that you'll be cashing out will be smaller. So I saw this as an opportunity to start investigating different options. And originally at the time, I was really moving towards Panama because there was the, something called the Friendly Nations Visa. It was very um, easy and um, accessible for certain nationalities to basically get a permanent residency in Panama. Now, just as I was looking into it, they actually changed the rules and then they made that a lot more difficult to obtain, which is basically how things are today. So then I paid for a consultation with a service probably similar to yours, and we went through all the different options I had available. One that came up uh, as a potential option was Paraguay. And um, it wasn't particularly common or popular, but um, it seemed to tick almost all the boxes that Panama did tick, but it still had the residency available. So I basically, I looked into it, it seemed, um, I mean, I was looking for good weather. I like Latin people, um, favorable taxes, relatively safe. Um, it ticked a lot of boxes for me. So I investigated, it looked like a good option. And then with um, another friend, Australian friend of mine I met online, we both um, made the plan to leave together. Now, what was funny in this time, especially my city in Australia, Melbourne was in a hard lockdown. Um, mm. So much so that we actually had to write a letter to our government requesting permission just to leave Australia. So part of my friendship with my friend was actually there would be Facebook forums where Australians would uh, swap tips on what we can put in this letter to actually let the convince the Australian government to let us go. Thankfully, we were able to get our permission slip to leave Australia. And then we, uh, we started our journey to um, Paraguay, where, where I ended up today. So if you're a six, seven, or eight-figure investor, entrepreneur, or business owner who needs a tailor-made solution from a qualified team of professionals, we can help you achieve the international lifestyle, the freedom, and even the tax savings you're looking for. Visit us at htj.tax and live that international life. Absolutely. 